over onto his side of Tamibo for great reasons right there. And they gave him enough of respect. And of course, Harif now is getting locked away, knowing for the fact that Axis Esports can play the same sort of picks that they do. And as I mentioned it, it will be Lilia taken away from 10 seconds gaming plus interesting interesting they go for the lilia really early on i guess access esports really just wants to deny a lot of these picks and force out the hero pool coming in from 10 seconds gaming however you gotta remember tomebo isn't the only carry here the rest of the team works together they have kaja they have grok they have kufra some of the high priority picks in the tournament for the longest period of time since the conception of mlbb we're just going to see whether or not they're going to be locking in yes it is it's going to be the Grok as well as the Kaja. Pretty classic picks heading towards the hands of 10 Seconds Gaming Plus. Well, last game we saw Kaja being left out in the first phase. They did not opt to choose it over so many other uh, picks that's out there. Now, heading back towards the Axis Esports side. Balls on their court here to pick up something strong. Well, we saw some contests for Fox Hill. I'm not too sure if Axis Esports is comfortable enough to actually play on that. And yep, we're having a little bit of look of the Prismans as well, where we also see a lot of uh, all these sort of the uh, picks like Kufra, who's yes. possibly able to actually be uh, hovered upon and snatched away here. Yeah. And uh, well, I mean, snatched away, I wouldn't say too much, but then again, this is 10 seconds gaming. I wouldn't be too surprised if they decided like, hey, let's try out something funky here. Let's make Kaja an absolute monster as a mage. Like, I, I, I want to see something like that, but again, I think they're smart enough to know that won't be the way to go. Axis Esports, on the other hand, they lock in the high loss. They know for a fact they can't be counterpicked by the box here anymore because they have the both supports. But is this going to be a traditional composition or is this going to be meta? It's really hard to tell. Yeah, at this point in time, we're, we're just going to wait for phase number two to come into effect to really see what's in store for us. But looking at from the side of Axis Esports here, uh, this is of course the, the newer classical meta that we're looking at throughout the uh, entire group stages. Now, Chao being removed. Well, what do you feel about this ban? Because uh, it, it has fallen off the radar in terms of ban ratios, but yeah. it's still something that 10 seconds gaming plus do rely on. Well, I mean, now he's less, uh, most of the time, especially especially in this tournament meta of M1, we've been seeing him being used as a fighter more often than, Whoa. you know, your secondary tank. It's going to be the Selena pickup for the side of 10 second gaming. And yeah, Cho has just not been doing as well as we'd like to after so many nerfs during, uh, during the patch. And it kind of hurts him for sure. Mm -hmm. but 10 seconds gaming, with that Selena, you know for a fact they are going to either look to hit level 2 as quickly as possible and go for those big, big kills and invades. River control is going to be key. Tomebo, the star player of 10 seconds gaming plus. I'm really hoping to see this Selena to be in his hands. And we've seen him with some great skill shots and he possibly will be able to land a couple of good clutch abyssal arrows if that's the case. Now, back to the side of Axis Esports here. Here comes their signature Franco. Daring moves alongside with the Bruno here. So with this, they respond with the Hayabusa okay. all the way from Japan. Okay, okay, this is a matchup I've been waiting to see for the long time, the Hayabusa into Masha matchup, because we know for a fact Hayabusa is an absolute beast when it comes to the 1v1s, but Masha, at a certain point in time, she's gonna absolutely outscale Hayabusa, and he won't be able to do as much damage as he would like. It's really about who gets the lead here for that co the control over the side lanes. Well, definitely side lane pressure will be priority for either sides of these teams. And not only that, previous game, it was all about that objective pressure yes. that we see. Let's get straight into the action of game two between Axis Esports versus 10 Second Gaming. Malaysian fans are roaring out, hoping for the game three to come up. And fun fact, if you guys miss out some of all these games for today, a lot of all these games have ended up in a 2-0 victory. Well, some may say landslide, and I would say it's just really hard games for both of these teams uh, as they some of them has already bit goodbye and that's definitely uh, something that we don't oh. really look forward to. Oh, to Mebo! I mean, that was a good iron hook, but he didn't get the buff, unfortunately. I think that was the idea. He probably should have just yanked the buff just to, you know, slow down the process, deny the level two, and then go in for the kill. But good delay overall. 
for the side of Scott. I'm pleasantly surprising from across, and imagine that will be a pretty much trollish to Bebo. Second time in a row is a but the health of these members of Tetsuka Escape Plus are dropping down, but yet again, they secure one kill in the back. Oh, that's really frustrating, especially if you're in Scott, because he was trying to look for an angle to get for a good goal for a really good iron hook. However, the gargoyle is just like, nope, 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 I'm aggro, and I'm going to just walk right in front of your face. And he didn't get a clear, clean shot onto the enemy team for that iron hook. Wow. I, I just feel like uh, it's pretty much unfortunate. This esports going on a little bit of a reset. Let's have a look at our instant replay brought to you by you. Mobile. Just look at Scott, he's just like, I can't get an angle, this, this stupid gargoyle is in my face. But <laughs> yeah, the Revitalize, it was looking good for a moment, and then they realized, oh no, they have too much damage, our cooldown, we're right off of cooldowns, we don't have a lot of time, and Tobebo got all the damage he needed to get. Now, 10 seconds gaming plus, setting up a little bit of camp for the turtle push. If any one of these members from Axis Esports go for a little bit of a peek, and in that sort of sense, it's gonna be Evil X just passing through, giving him a little bit of a free pass, and now they might just go for it and engage! Uh -oh. Yep, they're fun too. Glorious pathway already down. Axis Evil X is in a lot of trouble. That ring of punishment isn't going to be enough as they walk away. The rest of the team. Oh! Up is Lyro Lance! Look has the purify! He's gone out, out of there! They have chucked out the one HP! Oh, he Rin, he does so much work! But look, has to get out of there, but he can't. He has one slide tackle to make it work. He tries to go through. What? He's stuck with an audience barrier. They go down. It's a three for one trade. Stuck in the rock and the hard place. Now, 10 seconds gaming plus. Heading down to the bottom side, crashing it out. And this will be yet another turn for the Japanese side. The Malaysians slowly losing that pressure. One more instant replay to catch what just happened because Evil X. He was on the safety net, but Sure as well as Papa. Look at how they just dove right in to secure that double kill for the carry. And Tomibo could easily just slowly chunk them down, especially with Papa taking down the wave and eventually close things out against Bloom. Back in the game we go. Yeah, it's super unfortunate because that was a strong 50-50 that Rin might have been able to clutch it out. But again, just the movement uh, of Gloom is so slow. He takes such a long time to move from one place to another without that Ice Queen's wand. And the moment he gets the Ice Queen's wand, it's a completely different story. But he didn't have it at the time. He black shoes backwards into the team and ends up dying. It's like, ah, uh, no, that has got to suck. Yeah, that definitely will be a little bit tilting. Oh, Booyan buying that Shadow Mask as well. So that's going to be a little bit of that surprise factor, but over the top side, we missed out on a little bit of that kill. Of course, we still saw Kotaka was defending the tower with his own dear life. A bit of rotation towards the mid lane as they tried to crash this in. And, and one more tower for the side of 10 seconds gaming plus. Well, that's going to be a little trade off over the top. Course. Remember what I said, it's all about the early game, and, and, and so far it looked like Axis was doing a good job until they lost three members, and now 10 Second Gaming is just gonna take and keep control over the river line. Like, if you see Axis walk into the river line, they are very cautious, they are, have to play a safe game, and they're not willing to walk up, they don't have their tier ones to give them that vision across the map. And it's it's so great to actually see how they protect the carries as well, coming from 10 Seconds Gaming Plus. 302 for the carry. Already finishing it off with that endless battle. Slowly going in for maybe a Demon Hunter Sword or even a Golden Star in that sort of sense, uh, much later on. And well, Axis Esports now playing a little bit safer. And Evil X wants out Sure. I think they just don't have a choice. They're 5k down, oh. and now Sure has got a good catch Mega onto Evil kill. X. This is what they want to do. Walk into our jungle. I dare you. I double dare you. Oh, speaking of oh, dare. No. Oh, dead. there we go. There we go. Take it, Rin. take it, take it, take it. Rin's in trouble. He goes down. The rest of the team goes down. Tomabo is right on top of him. That's the last hit. Pulls on backwards. Obuya, low on health, but still isn't afraid to walk up. That perfect abyssal arrow coming out of Papa. Lands that shot. And when we talk about it way early on in the draft, instant death delivered. Oh my goodness. I definitely thought. I, for sure, I was thinking uh, Selena Tomebo was going to jump onto Rin, killing him, but then he wouldn't have options of getting back out. So he played that fight so slow and was so patient. They knew they secured the kill onto Rin. They was just thinking of how to do it more efficiently. Well, efficiency is the name of the game, and we're looking at Scott here getting pulled back. Uh -oh. Instead, he gets the reversal with the Defy Judgment. Here comes Evil X with the Righteous Pathway, but he's not! He's stuck by the wall! He doesn't need the Grok to even block him on his tracks. 
Yeah, and the rest of 10 Second Gaming, they've developed the 7k goal lead here, and that's so huge for them because now they have no options to really come back into this game, and Axis is just waiting for a mistake by 10 Seconds Gaming. Let's look at a replay one more time. Like, Scott, this in, in theory, this was a good idea unless until he realized, oh no, this is Kaja. He gets locked instantaneously by the Divine Judgment, gets yanked backwards. There's nothing he can do there. Yeah, and at this point, I'm not too sure if those higher hooks is gonna be any greater than that here, but over on top side there, we see OG Shadow Kill finishing one more off. Whoa, got like Tamibo Tamibo. Whoa, I'm not too sure. Uh, there's so much of all these sort of pressure coming from each of these members of 10 Seconds Gaming Plus that Axis Esports could not even decide who to take down first. Yeah, it's it's tough because again, their core members are super strong and Carrie is never going to be in a fight. She's never going to be right up in front and if Franco can't find a single angle, it's going to be tough. Rin can wave clear, but again, it's a it, it's risky. It's starting to get super risky because Omuya is starting to disrespect them. He's willing to walk up to their faces. He's willing to threaten them with that divine judgment insta-kill. And I love how they are actually playing so safely. Although they do have a huge lead, they never drop a single depth. They're already buying more Tally at eight minutes mark. And yep. now, here we go. A little dive coming in from the side of 10 seconds oh. game plus. Oh my goodness, Grok just chucked everybody out. There's nothing he can do. They're gonna try and break that inhibitor. Obuya throw. Lord, but once again, just soon. waiting to dodge on to that divine judgment, but nobody goes down. They break the inhibitor. They're saying objectives first, fighting later. Axis slowly getting choked out of this game. 9k in favor of 10 second gaming. Well, I'm not too sure if there's any sort of miraculous run left for Axis Esports. 10 seconds gaming plus. It, it, it seems like they just don't make mistakes. They are so clinical in every single approach that they're taking. And now even Axis knows they cannot afford to get anywhere close to this lore. They have to give it away to send 10 seconds gaming plus. Yeah, and Lawson is their only win condition at this point. Like he has to somehow get pressure, but now that the inhibitors are gone, even that seems to be very unlikely for the side of Axis Esports. It's just a ticking time bomb, and 10 seconds gaming will choke Axis out. Athena Shield being bought out by Evil X, but I'm not too sure if that will make that uh, high loss tanky enough in that sort of sense. Now, Lord marching out of the mid lane here. They're gonna slowly escort those little bit of those minutes heading from the top side in towards the base as well as the bottom lane. Well, look at how they are all split up. One three one formation. Well, Class A one four one because the Lord's joining in too. Yeah, and they're doing a good job. And now oh Masha's in a dangerous position. You can already see the moment she walks back out, the team starts moving on. They have the shadow max to kind of protect the rotation. Whoa! That's a huge catch. The suppression of the bloody hunt goes down. If one thousand goes through, Scott goes down. They're just too far ahead. Tomato is still alive as they start knocking on to death star. He likes dropping down the glorious pathway. And now Lord is hitting down the crystal. They trade a one for two. They need to defend this. This is a good opportunity. They go in! They go in! Tataka! It suddenly pops them up, and now we have a winner. Oh boy, and last the finishing blow, and now we're looking at 10 seconds gaming plus heading in to a lower bracket semi-finals here with a 2-0 sweep. And they're continuing the tradition in day one, where all these teams that emerge victorious takes two straight games. Woo! 10 seconds. Gaming 2 0 all the way through. These guys are absolute monsters. Every single second, this game was heart throbbing for every one of the spectators to prove my point because, for the most part, you, we know for a fact that three minutes into the game, such a huge blunder coming out of Axis Esports. They took a 50 50, they lost three members trading for one, and then from then on out, 10 seconds gaming just locked them out of the game. Thank you.